to the job are different than the skills needed to do a job. And that's where this show, my other one, which is called Job Search Radio, uh, which is on webtalkradio.net, uh, my uh, theme, my videos, a whole host of content I've developed uh, that you can find at thebiggamehunter.us is all designed to help you. Now, today's show is brought to you by two sponsors. The first one is Audible. And if you go to audibletrial.com forward slash the big game hunter, what you'll be able to do is sign up for a free trial of Audible, uh, a service that will provide audiobooks to you. And you can try out the service by uh, downloading a free audiobook with your trial. The second sponsor, I'm sorry, and, and again, that address is audibletrial.com forward slash the big game hunter. And the second sponsor is consultingassignments.com, a site where you can find and fill consulting assignments, full time consulting positions, temp, temp to perm, and contract to hire opportunities anywhere in the world completely free. Posting a job or a resume is free. Searching jobs and resumes is also free, as is the ability to contact one another. The only thing the site charges for is if you're going to feature more than one job, uh, it'll charge, you know, you can, let me really state that. If you, know, if you want to feature a job or a resume, it's $10 for 30 days. And if you're going to feature more than one position, they have programs that take the cost down to like two dollars for 45 days so again that's consultingassignments.com now i was away for a few days came back last evening uh, i've quickly scrambled to finish off my prep work for this show um, so uh, what i decided to do is uh, review an article i read uh, that had apparently uh, was an answer to a question on quora if you're not familiar, that's a, a service, Q-U-O-R-A. Quora is a site where you can ask questions and people can provide answers to it. And the question that was posed is, when recruiters look through a stack of resumes for candidate screening, what is the vital information that they focus on? Now, there was an answer uh, offered by uh, Amber Benjamin, an engineering recruiter at Facebook who was previously with Living Social, Google, and Expedia. Uh, it's a great answer, very detail-oriented. You can find it on Quora if you like, uh, but I'm going to kind of summarize it for you um, because fundamentally, uh, I think she covers a lot of the points that I believe it's a she, and I apologize if it isn't. Uh, Amber covers a lot of the points that I would cover in answering that question. Uh, so uh, I just thought I would uh, offer uh, the answer that's posed in, in summary form. Uh, one thing Amber mentioned is the most recent role someone has. Uh, so uh, generally looking to you know, what what. Uh, she says, is, I'm generally trying to figure out what this per current, person's current status is and why they might even be interested in a new role. Have they been laid off? Did they get fired? Have they uh, only been in their role for a few months? Is this their most recent experience? Is their most recent experience relevant to the position for which uh, she's hiring? Uh, then this brand re name recognition, which is company recognition. Uh, she refers to herself as a company snob. Uh, I just look for, is the company one that has a brand that the market responds to well? Is there a career progression uh, that this person has had? Do they have increasing levels of responsibility and do their titles make sense? Uh, do the responsibilities and, of course, experience reflect what she's looking for uh, in, in doing a keyword search? Um, you know, I get a ton of resumes that in no way, shape, or form indicate that this person has the skills that this per that I'm looking for for this client. Uh, you know, a, a program manager has never managed a program a day in their life. A Java developer, who, the term Java doesn't appear in their resume, or a Ruby developer, and Ruby is a course when we're looking for someone with several years of experience. Uh, you know, these are all things that you know, we as recruiters tend to look at. Uh, gaps in the background, um, you, know, you know, explanations come in handy. So for example, 
um, you know, because of the, the way the world is, uh, women often take time off uh, for the birth of a newborn to help uh, to begin the process of raising a child. And, you know, is there an explanation of that? Uh, you know, did you start a company? Uh, did it fail? Um, you know, if there's some sort of an explanation for what happened to you, that's a huge help. Uh, do you have a web presence? Um, and, you know, for example, you know, if you include links to your Twitter feed, GitHub, uh, Dribble account, or something that reflects things that you do outside of work, um, I, th I think it, it's a huge help when looking at a resume. Uh, for some reason, and I believe it's because of concern about identity theft, people have removed where they live for work from their resume. Now, that isn't necessarily bad, but as I've you know, done videos about and talked about for many years now, I'm using this as an example. Uh, if you live in New York and you're applying for a position in, I don't know, um, Chicago for the sake of argument, and, and you have a New York phone number and that's all that's there on the resume, actually, let me state that. If you live in and are looking for a job in New York, but you move to New York and you have a Chicago phone number, employers don't know that you're in New York. Uh, so you have to make it clear that you're someone who's in New York. So definitely include your your address um, to demonstrate that you're in the general location. Um, you know, your residency status. If you're someone who uh, has an H-1B or an F-1 visa, don't you think we're going to ask about it? And all you're doing is wasting our time. Um, you know, spell check your resume and look for terms that, if misspelled, uh, could still be a word that would go through the spell checker. It doesn't really take long uh, to do this kind of assessment. Um, when all is said and done, uh, Amber says it takes her less than 30, uh, 30 seconds. Yeah, I would concur. Um, I, I think um, definitely less than 30 seconds. I, I think in a in one of my podcast shows on Job Search Radio, I said five to six seconds for me. Uh, she takes longer. Um, I do look at education. She really doesn't. Um, maybe it's the nature of the position she recruits for, but I like to see people with um, a quality school that they, they always are better than a school that I've never heard of or perceived better than, by my clients. If they work for, if they've um, worked for a university, uh, that has a, a brand to it as well. Uh, formatting. Let's not get crazy about formatting. Um, it, you know, she speaks about for certain types of positions, she loves Pinterest. Um, you know, what I generally think of is that um, resumes that are sent to me as PDFs can be problematic for when I massage them later on. Uh, just make them resume in Word. Do not use templates. Uh, they are a pain uh, to look at. Uh, they're a pain to massage. Applicant tracking systems don't like them to be blunt about it. Uh, and all you're doing is causing difficulty. Um, do you have, well, something else I don't pay, really pay attention to uh, are the personal reasons, uh, the, you know, the personal details of you know, sometimes people throw in marital status or that they have had, a, um, they'll, they'll include a photograph, which are rarely good photographs. Uh, they attach a cover letter to their resume. Um, and frankly, attached cover letters are never opened. What I intend to do is I look at the um, email. And if you want to send me something along those lines, I will read the body of your email and then open the attachment. Now, if the body of the email tells me I really want to do this job, I've never done work like this before, I'm never going to open the resume because my clients pay me to find people with specific experience, not people who want to do this job. Uh, so, um, you know, recognize that time is precious for everyone. Now, um, she talks about some things that she doesn't like, and I already mentioned resume templates. They are annoying, and they are ugly, uh, and they are a pain. Um, so ditch the templates. Just you know, type it. If, if, if you like 
the, what that template carries, great, but just use Word to create your resume following that templated format. Um, ridiculous number of pages she refers to. Um, I feel the same way. You know, if you're in consulting, for example, uh, and you have you have an eight to nine page resume, um, a, f a six page resume, you can edit it down. I don't care how many assignments you've had during your career, edit it down. No one cares about what you did five plus years ago. Emphasize the more recent work, minimize the older work. If you were hired based upon work that you did five or six years ago, I would be shocked. As a result, don't waste my time, and I think she believes so as well. Objectives, get rid of them. All they do is help you disqualify yourself. Um, you know, although some of my guests on Job Search Radio talk about the advantages of mailing a resume or a value proposition letter, she hates them. I hate them too. Uh, don't bother. Um, in her case, I'm sure one of the issues, well, I know it's true in my case as well, we can't parse the resume into our system. Yes, I could scan it. I could create a PDF out of what you send me. I'm not going to do it. Thus, it's going right into my garbage. Um, if she also talks about exaggerated titles or things that she can't stand. And, and I agree with her. Because the fact of the matter is, people find out. You think we're not going to check a reference? You think we're not going to look into your background and find out what the truth is? Of course we are. And the reality is, once we find, find out that you lied to us, you, you know, it's like, the, like a, a Godfather movie. You're dead to me. You're dead to me. I'm never going to pay attention. I'm sure the same is true of her, too. So at the end of the day, honesty is of huge importance. Presenting your background in a way that recruiters will find appealing, uh, understandable, um, reflects your background well and accurately, are all very important. And if you ignore these things, all that invariably happens is your resume is not going to get the result that you want. You need to work with us as recruiters, whether it's corporate or third party, uh, to market yourself in ways that will be effective for you. You know, this article that Amber wrote, which is on Mashable, um, and I believe it's entitled, let me get you the title for this, um, eight things recruiters notice about your resume at first glance and four things that don't matter. Um, again, on Mashable.com, uh, goes a long way toward telling you what one particular corporate recruiter believes, and I, for, I think, frankly, she's right on. So that's my show for this week. I also want to encourage you to come over to the TheBigGameHunter.us and go exploring. Lots of content to help you with your job search. You can search positions I'm recruiting for, uh, find out about, uh, you know, well, actually, you can also download uh, all of my books and guides to job hunting and pay what you want for them. I appreciate it if you paid something for them, but if you can't afford it right now, download them for free and then come back to my site later on. And you know, once you find work and you're getting a check again and do what's called flatter the site uh, and pay for it in that way or download a different book and pay for that one. Uh, in addition, uh, if you have a question about job hunting, uh, contact me through either liveperson.com or prestoexperts.com or my job search and career coaching expert. Be happy to answer your questions. If we're not already connected on LinkedIn, send me a connection request. The page is linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. I accept connection requests from people worldwide, except if you're a spammer or a third party recruiter. Um, and by spam or someone in the country known for spams or scams uh, or has a background that suggests to me that you might be a spammer. Um, frankly, it's a purely at my discretion. So this is Jeff Alpin. Hope you have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this show. Take care.